Today, uh, it was supposed to be a session by His Grace Varada Krishna Prabhu. This is good. This, this can also be. This can be taken off. So today there was supposed to be a class by His Grace Varada Krishna Prabhu. Due to some emergency, uh, Prabhu is not able to be here. Uh, so it is the auspicious uh, occasion of the fifth year of our uh, moving to this floor. In fact, uh, we had moved into this building uh, in the ground in the first floor, uh, maybe six years back. So that's like kind of sixth anniversary. So, but we consider this floor to be the not full fledged this one. So before we start our uh, like uh, uh, ceremony, so we will offer our Mangala Charan prayers and then we will start our session. <laughs> Shri Chaitanya Mano Bishtam Svapita Mena Bhutane Swayam Dupana Tata Mahyam Tadati Svapadatikam Vandekam Shri Guru Bhava Shri Uta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavansha Shri Rupam Sarvajata Sarvana Raguna Tandikam Tansajiva Sarvikam Sarvadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Krishna Bada Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakan Vitamsha Namo Vishnu Bada Yatushna Vrishaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Nitinami Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Prasadine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschat Deshatani Vancha Kalpata Nudesha Prabhas Hindu Jayavacha Padilanam Pavanityo Vaishnavityo Namo Namo Mahavatanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Varad Vishinamava He Krishna Karuna Sindho Dinamando Janakpate Gopesha Gopika Kankarada Kankarosmate Taktatachana Gaurangi Rade Vandavishwari Rishavano Sute Devi Pranamami Haritri Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadara Shri Vasadi Gauda Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So today we will be uh, discussing a little bit about uh, how we practice Krishna Consciousness and how uh, we actually expand the mission of Krishna Consciousness. And uh, after a little talk, and you know, our other core team members also will share a uh, little bit on these lines. So then uh, you know, we, will, uh, uh, we will also discuss about how we started off right from uh, Sudhir Gopal Prabhu's uh, apartment. You know, we started Janmashtami there, you know, long back, that is it's here. 2008. 2008. So from 2008 to 2022, so we will have the Kata of journey of his convite field. So after that, you know, we will have the cake cutting and uh, you know, nice arti and kitten. So we will have and then we will ceremoniously you know, end this program. So uh, the science of practice of Krishna consciousness. So all of you are very experts. So many uh, preachers are here, like, uh, you know, you have all been doing very wonderful work. But still it is, you know, for our own purification to reiterate and repeat these things are very, very, you know, nice, you know, so that uh, you know, we become very solidly fixed up in these basic principles. Uh, so when I went, uh, joined in a, a corporate organization, so every time they call for a meeting, so they would talk about the foundational values and that used to be like two, three points kind of thing. And it just looked like very uh, basic thing. So I used to wonder why they you know, keep on discussing these basic points, the foundational values and things like that. So it is very essential that we grounded in our values you know, when we uh, make progress in Krishna consciousness and when we expand the mission of Krishna consciousness. So what are our values you know, that we uh, stand by you know, in ISKCON? 
and uh, especially in our center. So what is the values that we stand by? So that's a very important thing. So the expansion that we are uh, going about, it is not at the sacrifice of the personal growth or personal uh, depth in uh, practice of Krishna consciousness. So a devotee has to work both ways. You know, he has to work at the depth and also he has to do the service of expansion of mission of Krishna consciousness. So all this depth has to be increased. So there are so many different things that are there. So recently somebody had uh, you know, asked our Kartike to that, you know, why in this con like uh, Sakhi mantras or Sakhi Gayatris are not given, you no? Know? So it's like that is also one way of you know, going, going to the depth. So why uh, so much of uh, intimate pastimes of Sri Sri Radha and Krishna are not discussed, you no? Know? And things like that. So people have so many different ways of or so many different ideas of going uh, into deeper aspects of Krishna consciousness. So how do we you now go deeper into Krishna consciousness? So we have certain, we have come to a parampara and then this parampara like uh, is capable of lifting us to the position of uh, the resident of a Goloka Vrindavan. So that is possible. So why do we say it is possible? So because uh, it has never been given, this opportunity of getting to the Goloka Vrindavan has never been given, Anarpita Charam Chira. So it is never uh, given before. But because a resident of the Goloka Vrindavan has come down. So that is Krishna and Srimadhi Radharani themselves. No, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has come down and he is distributing no, this Krishna consciousness. He is distributing this wealth of uh, Krishna Bhakti. You know? So because he is distributing, we are sure of this guarantee that we are going to reach the destination. Right? And how do we have to follow him? So we have to follow him in Parampara. You know? So there are many different Acharyas have given many things, but we have to see what our Acharya, what Srila Prabhupada has given us. And when we strictly follow that, you know, he takes a guarantee that he will take us back home, back to Godhead. So, and he will take us back to no, no Vaikuntha, no, no Ayodhya and things like that, no directly to Goloka Vrindavan. So when somebody is telling that I will take you there, no, you just do this for me. No, you just do this for me. No, you just do this service for me and I will take you there. So then we need to, we should not take any anxiety of uh, understanding the Saki Gayatri or no, this Gayatri, that Gayatri and things like that. We just simply have to follow the instructions given by Srila Prabhupada and we will make, no, he will make sure that no, we are ending up in the right, right destination. So today morning I was hearing Srila Prabhupada, you no, know, stop that, um, you no, know, uh, he, he was talking about his spiritual master. So he did not authorize um, like chanting and seclusion and things like that. So rather Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur, he asked, that you no know, help in the preaching mission. So be engaged in the preaching mission. So in that way, you now we will be able to please our acharyas. And when we please our acharyas, they are going to give us the destination. They are going to take us, you no, know, take the anxiety of taking us you know, to the right destination. So we should not be worried about you know, the uh, like uh, how I'll get to you know some uh, shortcut or some route and this one, that one, and all. So we should not be worried about that because like they are taking us. So we should just be worried about. What will please them? No, that is very, very essential. So, in this way, following in the footsteps of the previous acharyas and strictly following the instructions given by Srila Prabhupada. So, that is how you know, we want to you know, increase our depth in Krishna consciousness. And more we practice in this line, so more we will be able to advance in Krishna consciousness. And uh, uh, we always used to quote this sloka. You know, this is a very nice sloka to uh, remember. Uh, Bhagavad Bhakti Hinasya, Jati Shastri Japas Tapas, uh, Jati Shastra Japas Tapas, uh, Apranasya Dehasya Mandanam Lokaranjana. So, if there is uh, devoid of Bhagavad Bhakti, devoid of devotion to Krishna, so Jati, that means good birth, Shastra, good education, Japa, you no know, chanting of you no know, mantras and things like that, and Tapa is austerities. So, all of these things, you no know, Apranasya Dehasya, it will be like Without any uh, prana, without any life, you know, that is there in this whole thing. Aprana se dehasya, mandalam lokaranjana. People of this world will glorify that. So, if you do big, big festivals, you know, if we expand nicely, people, you no, know, uh, not only devotees, even the uh, outside people also will glorify us. But then, if it is at the cost of, uh, you no, know, without having the bhakti, if it is at the cost of bhakti to the Supreme Lord, 
So then this expansion or this you know, propagation of Krishna consciousness doesn't have much value. So both the things have to go simultaneously. So we have to increase our depth in Krishna consciousness and we have to increase our you know, breadth of reaching the uh, message of Krishna consciousness. So in these uh, things, so few things we all, always used to uh, focus on is that uh, chanting of the names of the Lord and then uh, getting taste in the chanting of the names of the Lord and then getting taste in Srimad Bhagavatam. So both for Brahmacharis and for Grahasthas, so this is an essential thing. No? So what happens you know, in the old age, you know, when, uh, uh, what happens when we are young is that we have a lot of energy and uh, we can do some tangible service and uh, people are still respecting us and things like that. So what happens when we become old is that uh, we will not be having sufficient energy in the body to render same kind of service and uh, we will, our ideas will be outdated. No, we will no more be relevant to the modern age and things like that. So at that point, so only thing that can actually save us is only thing that can actually keep us relevant is that taste in the chanting, taste in the Srimad Bhagavatam, taste in the process of Krishna consciousness and also determination and dedication to execute the mission of Krishna consciousness. Right. So this is what will keep us relevant. This is what will keep give some meaning in our life. So otherwise, no, as we grow old, we will become meaningless, right? So that is a very, very essential thing. So by focusing on these aspects, you know, having a very solid morning program. So today I was very happy that, you know, uh, our Deepak Prabhu had come for morning program here. I know devotees are doing very nice morning program every day at home. So, but still on weekends, you know, if devotees can come, you know, to uh, morning program here also, it will be very nice. So like those of you come for morning program any day, so you will be given breakfast prasadam. <laughs> so you don't need to worry that you know, how to cook prasadam, how to manage. Even for your office, we can help you know with <laughs> prasadam to pack. <laughs> so that is something like which is there in all temples that anybody who attends morning program gets breakfast prasadam. Right? So uh, you know, that is something that we can... Uh, no, we have to be very, very solid. So to go deeper in our Krishna consciousness, this morning program is a very essential aspect. So morning program has the glorification of you know, Srila Prabhupada and uh, no, uh, we uh, sing about the spiritual master and then we glorify the deities and then we chant uh, the, uh, like uh, we, we pray uh, the Tulusi Puja and then Narshima Arati, and then Sikshashtakam, and uh, 10 offenses and chanting, right? So then, you know, we have Guru Puja and Srimad Bhagavatam class. So if you see, all this thing is very nicely designed, you know, to take us more deeper into Krishna consciousness. So some of the aspects is that we need to have a strong goal, you know? We practice Krishna consciousness, but if we don't have a strong goal, so then we will not be able to make progress, right? So it is very essential that we have uh, a strong uh, goal in place and how does it how does the morning program helps us in maintaining a strong goal so we see that uh, in the tulasi puja so what is what do we actually want to become so we want to become the resident of no sri vrindavandam and then we want to have darshan of shri radha and krishna <laughs> and then you know, we want to uh, assist the uh, devotees, you no, know, assist the devotees who are assisting in uh, the pastimes of Sri Radha and Krishna. So that goal is very, very clear. You no, know? Tulasi Puja actually gives the highest goal, you no, know, that we, you no, know, aspire for. And then Narshima Arati. So we have we uh, seek the protection from the Supreme Lord to protect our devotion towards Sri Radha and Krishna. And then, you no, know, we have the Mangalarti prayers like meditation on the deities. You no, know, it's very amazing. A meditation on the qualities of the spiritual master, that is also very amazing. And um, in fact, if you see in the other Vaishnava Sampradayas, in the Sri Vaishnava Sampradaya, there is a worship of um, the foremost of the devotees in the in the Parampara. So they worship Vishwakshena, who is the uh, who's considered to be the uh, army head of the Narayan Sena, Narayani Sena, actually. So he is worshipped first, you know, before starting anything. And in our Parampara, so we worship the spiritual master first, you no, know, before starting anything. So you know, our parampara actually even Lord comes. You no, know, first of all, the service to spiritual master is taken care. So then only the Lord service is taken care, and instructions given by the spiritual master is worshipped, you no, know, as the topmost life and soul. You no, know, even Srila Prabhupada also makes that uh, you no, know, his success 
like he is able to do this uh, successful uh, aspect of spreading krishna consciousness and uh, he attributes all the success to um, no uh, his following of his instructions of a spiritual master so to reemphasize that and to make it very very strong so we have twice in the morning program so we have the glorification of spiritual master so one is meditating on the qualities of the spiritual master and then the next is the guru puja so there you now we are very very clear that how we are getting delivered you now we are getting delivered by the mercy of the spiritual master by the mercy of the parampara so by holding these all values you no know, and then uh, two very important aspects which are given a long time in morning program so what are the two things which are given very long time in the morning program holy name and bhagavatam no why it is given long time because we are supposed to develop taste towards them <laughs> so that is the key thing you no know? this the goal is to develop taste towards the chanting and like uh, the shrimad bhagavatam and we achieve that by serving the spiritual master by pleasing him right and the service also includes the chanting and bhagavatam and service also includes the expansion of mission of krishna consciousness right so when we just dedicate you know to this very small frame of activities it is sufficient enough we don't need any too much no big big things no to uh, attain our goal this much is sufficient enough now we will be able to attain our goal because they are going to give us the goal no it is it is like shila prabhupad the spiritual master shila prabhupad panchatatva and shri shri radha krishna in the form of hari krishna mantra so they are going to give us the desired goal and it is our only duty is to please them right and how do we please them in the parampara so we actually do that thing so we emphasizing these values and sticking to these these values very very strictly now we proceed forward and we go grow deeper into our krishna consciousness and at the same time now we expand the mission of krishna consciousness now we work hard we put all our intelligence energy and go to the extra mile to you no know, do uh, things to expand this krishna consciousness so when we do this thing this simple formula so it has to work because you no know, shila prabhupada has given this guarantee that if you just follow this much you no know, it has to work and another very important aspect you no know, shila prabhupada always likes you no know, unity and being together so that is another strength like uh, uh, it is very very essential we see that when prachatas were doing tapasya underwater for 10000 years and the lord appeared and then he mentioned that i am very very happy because not because you people stayed underwater for 10000 years we chanted this mantra and things like that so i am very pleased because you all stayed together so imagine like even if you are even if you are not able to uh, like practice krishna consciousness very intensely just by staying together krishna will take us back to god <laughs> that is so powerful you know so it is the most difficult thing in kaliyuga you no know, kaliyuga means quarrel and hypocrisy you no know? when uh, i was uh, working still working in the company at the time uh, my friends used to ask you know what you people used to you are you are doing so we used to stay 25 devotees in one base you no know, three story base and 25 devotees used to stay there and uh, like you know all of us used to attend morning program at 4:30 and get ready like you no know, only krishna knows how we get ready <laughs> so you no know, somebody in the terrace like pouring some water <laughs> and, you know so like not everybody used to get bathroom <laughs> so all the circus and my colleagues used to ask are how are you able to stay in this environment and tell me like you no know, 25 people are there you don't have any fights between yourself so you say like no there is no fights <laughs> no and we are happy like we are happy getting up early in the morning okay you may be happy for one day two day you no know, maybe a week or one month or something like that so you cannot be there for long time i told already four years passed you no know? <laughs> you are living like that so only iskon only krishna consciousness you no know, can give this thing and within iskon also we see so many places this unity is a problem actually in fact shri prabhupa um, like requested this as his last wish that no stay united stay together and things like that so like we may have differences we may have difference of opinions we may have different ways of working and things like that but still you no know, in spite of all these things some or other you no know, if we can you no know, stay together you know if we can like even if it takes that we have to fall at the other devotee's feet you no know, it is worth doing it like just to you no know, have this one aspect of staying together so just by staying together you no know, we will be able to do big big things so we will be able to do big miracles so one of the logics that we always have uh, 
you know, executed in uh, in uh, managing the things is that like just like the holy name, you no, know, it's very very powerful. Just if we don't commit offenses, so we will be able to get Krishna Prem. So in the same way, if you want to do big things, the devotees are so wonderful. So everyone is capable of doing wonderful things. Just make sure that there is no problem amongst devotees. No big things will happen automatically. We don't need to do, even we don't need to plan also. Big things will happen automatically. So these are some of the values you know, that we are uh, trying to work on, that we are trying to stand upon uh, as the foundation. And uh, we have seen to some extent, you know, some growth has happened, a you know, little bit like uh, that is happening. And uh, we are not able to do like what uh, you know, Srila Prabhupada was doing. And we are not able to do even like uh, how uh, the other centers of uh, our uh, you know, India, like uh, for example, uh, in Mayapur, the way of expansion, the Delhi, the way of expansion they are doing. So compared to them, like we are very, very small. You no, know, we are not even percentage, you know, in compared to them. So, but then, you know, we are also able to do some, you know, progress because of these values that we have kept on and uh, because of the mercy of Srila Prabhupada and the Guru Parampara, so that we are able to do. And also we have, you know, very nice devotees like Sudhir Gopal Prabhu, Vidal Kishapu, Bandhu Prabhu. So these devotees, you know, like I always <clears throat> have a lot of respect to them because they have very deep Krishna consciousness and also like when there is an issue, no, how do I actually estimate? No, how how did I select these devotees to be with? So one is that they were previous leaders also. Yeah. <laughs> so they are the leaders of congregation. And another thing is that I've seen when there is a problem, there is two ways of managing. One is to blow up the problem into big. No? Some some managers do that. <laughs> another thing is that no, like quarantine the problem and to reduce the problem to nil. So it is very essential that. Only a humble person can do this thing, no? Only a humble person who doesn't take uh, you know, too much of hurt on his ego, only they can do this thing. So one side, we have a lot of energy that is there in the youth, like, no, we are expanding. But the other side, we also have the wealth of you no know, senior devotees, like who are mature in their practice of Krishna consciousness and who are uh, capable of neutralizing you no, know, the issues that actually arises. So this is a very, very you know, essential thing. You no, know? so this uh, sometimes it is called as uh, you no. Know, there is sink is there, right? So sink is meant for absorbing all the water. In the same way, so when dis misunderstandings happen between devotees, you no, know, there should be a sink, you no, know, which is called emotional sink. You no, know? that sink will absorb all the emotion and neutralize everything. <laughs> so that is very, very essential, and we are very you no know, fortunate to have. No, many senior devotees amongst us no, who are able to like uh, deal with the problems no, that arises in day to day way and you know, we have seen you know, some major problem to minor problem and uh, the reaction of the devotees like in the management I've seen they're very very you know, calm, cool, composed and they're able to uh, absorb and also forgive you know, the uh, uh, people who are involved in the problem and things like that and able to uh, again reinstate and then you know, keep the momentum going. So this is you no know, quite a difficult task actually. So it is possible you no know, because you no know, we have you no know, wonderful senior devotees who are uh, deep in their Krishna consciousness and who are having the spirit you no know, for expansion of Krishna consciousness. So uh, so this is our wealth. You no, know, this is our uh, you no know, uh, wealth of Krishna consciousness, wealth of uh, like uh, you know devotees that we have and. Uh, the values that we follow and things like that. So, uh, no, this with this, I just pause here and then I request you know, devotees to also share okay. some. <laughs> it's, uh, we had uh, very beautiful points. I I always try to summarize it. <laughs> so, I thought Prabhuji spoke on three things. Uh, it's a lot, but I, the key uh, topics that really touched me uh, is that purity, intensity, and unity. Focus focuses a lot, and purity is the force. And what is that purity means? Uh, it's really our intent. Uh, intent of uh, coming into Krishna consciousness and being in Krishna consciousness. And how do you purify our intent? By following our Acharyas, uh, 
by following the Mahajanas. Swayambhu Narada Sambhu Pralada Janaka Vishma Kumara Kapilo Manu Balir Vaya Shakhi Vayam. This is the 12 Mahajanas, Bhagavatam uh, says. They have established uh, the principles and also they have lived those principles in their life. And they have sown the principles, they have taught this principle so that we can also follow the same and we can also purify our life. And, uh, and uh, as we are approaching towards next Sunday, the big festival, Nashri Mata you know, we really remember <coughs> the Mahajanas of Prahlad Maharaj. Prahlad Maharaj, what was his mood? Like, yes, uh, we don't. Always glorify so many qualities of Prahlad Maharaj. Uh, how he was uh, uninterrupted, unconditional uh, in his devotion service to Lord Narasimha He didn't ask anything from the Supreme Lord. Uh, the other way, uh, like Hirani Kashi, he had everything. Whatever, like even the, all the Devatas, uh, uh, they were really getting scared when he used to, you know, <laughs> Raise his eyebrows. If you raise eyebrow, nobody cares. <laughs> Sometimes you try it out at home, right? <laughs> or in the base. <laughs> but hardly anybody cares. <laughs> then we realize how insignificant we are. <laughs> but then uh, we hear. Uh, what, how much power uh, Hirene Pashupu had. Uh, but then in the, our Acharya said he was in Naradhama. Uh, he is the lowest uh, of all the living entities. He is a demon. Uh, nobody names uh, their son as a Hirene Pashupu. <laughs> right? But everybody names their sons as a Prahlad. You know, we have so many Prahlad in our congregation. You know, he is called as Narottam. Is the best of all human beings because he has shown with his example that yes, right, we might think that uh, oh, uh, my spouse is not cooperating, my employee, my office is not cooperating, uh, my community is not cooperating. But let's think of Prahlad Maharaj, what is his situation everywhere. Uh, right? You go to school, you have demoniac friends, you come at home. You know, father is saying, you know, you are a bogus. Even not only that, your teacher is saying, whatever you are you know, saying is nonsense. And to whom you will find shelter. But then, how he was strongly connected. He had strong faith uh, in the words of his spiritual master, Narad Muni. That, you know, in his body, right, in this uh, body, he had not even seen. He had just heard, you know, while he was in the womb of his mother. How much faith do you have? And how? what kind of an aspirations you have? And Lord Narasimha Dev appeared. Huh? Like he, he was really, right, so furious. So furious. Um, because uh, oh, why Lord is furious? Eh? Because he can tolerate, you know, whatever you say, any, you know, whatever you say to him. But he cannot tolerate uh, if you do something to his devotees. Because because devotees have dedicated everything you know, to the Lord. Because Lord says, uh, I have to also do my part. <laughs> How can he really, you know, just think of that, you know, his dear devotee, Prahlad Maharaj, Prahlad, you know, he's getting tortured so much. He's getting tortured so much. <laughs> And then, of course, we saw that how Devatas came, they tried, even Mother Lakshmi came. She tried, but she could not. But finally, uh, with the request of Brahma and all, uh, Prahlad Maharaj, you know, he started beautifully offering. He started, oh, well, I am so ignorant. And all the devatas, they uh, glorified with you like nectar of words. And who am I? And I'm just a demoniac. And our thoughts, yeah. who am I to really glorify you? And in such a humble way, such a prayerful way, he prayed. And Prahlad Maharaj, when with the prayer of Prahlad Maharaj, Lord Narasimhadev was so happy. Uh, uh, once he started smiling, you know, and started uh, licking, right, and started uh, tapping uh, Prahlad Maharaj. And then asking, please tell me what you need. I want to give benediction to you. 
And what was the benediction asked by Prahlad Maharaj? So, uh, please ensure that I don't have any more problems. <laughs> Right, oh, I want to rule this kingdom now. I got it. Yadi dasyasi me kaman varam stom varadar sava kaman amrudi asam roham varam te varadar sava. Oh, varadar sava. Oh, king of the person who can really give all the benedictions. It's called varadaras. You can give, yes, any benediction that you would like, but the most desired benediction that I have from my heart is that whatever the material desires I have within me, please uproot me. Because the devotee is convinced that uh, we are here in this material world because of our attachment to the material desire. Kamanam to the Asambra. Like uh, yesterday also in another program, we were just, you know, especially another favorite verse. That you always chant in the glorification of Lord Narasimha. What is that? Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Narasimhaya. Namaste Jaste Jase Avir Avir Bhava Vajra Nakha Vajra Damstra Karma Saya Randhaya Randhaya Tamo Grasho Grasho Om Swaha Avayam Avayam Atmani Bhoishtha Om Shrom. 5.18.8. So here in this verse, Prahlad Maharaj once again is praying. What is it? Uh, like, uh, whatever the material desires I have, please uproot it with Bajra Nakha, Bajra Damstra, with your Bajra like thunderbolt like nails and thunderbolt like you know teeth. Please uproot it. Yes, you are good at you know doing this surgery. You know? Please do the surgery within my heart. That's what a devotee is praying. I don't want anything else. You know, because I have seen that what my father had. Uh, uh, oh, I don't want all of them. But yes, and you know, my desire is that. Uh, and the next verse he is praying. Swasti astu vishwas kalo prasidhatam manas dhayan to hutani kalo sivom mitodhya. Manascha bhadram bhajatad adhokshaje. Then, Bhavi Satamna Matirati Ahituki. Like here, like uh, first he is saying that Sasti Astu Vishwasya Khalo Prasidatam. Uh, let all Khala people be pacified. Uh, because everybody, everybody is thinking of you know, how. Uh, to really bring somebody down, so envious, so jealousy. And Prabhupada says that we are here you know, because of our envious nature. You know? You know, how all these envious persons, they become pacified. You know? uh, that's what he said. You know, oh Lord, I'm not really terrified you know, with uh, this material world or anything else. You know? Because I'm always submerged you know, in hearing Mahamrita Makna Chitta. I am completely always absorbed. Uh, but such is Tato Bhimukha Chaita Sahindriya Artha Maya Sukhaya Bhara Muntvata Bhimuda. And I say that I am really worried. I am really you know, having that anxiety for the people, the Mudas, who are really carrying the illusory baggages. They think that, oh, if I carry this baggage, I will be happy. Uh, but how? Uh, they don't have that. You know, what they are doing? They are doing this punas charvita charvina na. And Prabhupada again and again especially speaks on this 7.5.30, 31, 32. Uh, that how everybody is really, you know, uh, living in this life of a gruha methi. Matis, matirna krishne parato sotava mito vi patye te gruha vratanam adanta govir vidutam tamisram punas charvita charvina na. How they have forgotten. Uh, the goal of the life. They don't know the goal of life is not Vishnu. They think that the goal of life is to really take care of our body, uh, like the concentrated selfishness or extended selfishness. Uh, but a devotee is like Prahlad Maharaj. They are teaching with their example that yes, you know, the goal of life is not really taking care just, you know, what's in it for me. But uh, how can I really help being an humble instrument and in delivering, delivering others to remove the anxiety of others. Huh? That is the mood of a devotee. That's what Prahlad Maharaj is showing. And how to do it? 
In 32 verse, he is saying, Naisam mati stavad uru kramangri. Mahiyasam pada rajopi sakam. Like, you know, how? Yes, unless somebody gets the dust of the lotus feet of a devotee. And yes, that's what, you know, you always you know, inspire them, encourage everybody who overcomes and to take shelter Shila Prabhupada. Because just by, and how they take, you know, Mahiyasam pada rajopi sakam. You know, the, how do you get the dust of the uh, spiritual master? By following the instructions. Somehow or other, we are encouraging everybody to please come and hear the instruction of Shri Prabhupada. Read Shri Prabhupada's books. Right. And this is what, you know, whole our mission is all about. Yeah. Nothing else, you know, just to you know, hear the wonderful qualities of devotees like Prahlad Maharaj uh, and uh, imbibe those qualities within us. Uh, and then once uh, we are nourished, uh, once we experience it, and I share with others, uh, not only just keeping it in ourselves, like how Prahlad Maharaj is saying, let everybody become pacified. And not only he is saying that, like, let just they take Krishna consciousness, he is saying, let them be absorbed. Like, like without any condition, without any thoughts, like once you talk about what is absorption, like in a sponge, once you put into water, like if it is a nice, clean sponge, it really absorbs the water. But if the sponge is covered with mud and uh, plastic and things like that, it cannot absorb that. Right? But how we should have that purity and that intensity, right? So that uh, we really absorb the qualities of the devotees, right? Yes, you know, there are so many ways, you know, once you come in the devotee community, we can find what he is not doing okay or what she is not doing okay. Uh, but the little bit things that you know, anybody or whatever Lord has given as a gift to somebody, how we can really fan that spark. And everybody has been gifted with some beautiful qualities you know, from the Lord. It's really up to us and, and to really think of Srila Prabhupada, what he did you know, in that uh, West, in the hippie land or in Europe or Australia. And whenever Prabhupada used to open a center and he used to go in front of the deities, you know, you know, oh Lord, you know, uh, yes. Now they are in charge of you. They are taking care of you. You have given the responsibility for you know, taking care of you. But they don't know what they are doing, what they will be doing. So, you know, please give us this. Please give my disciples the strength, you know, how to take care of you. Uh, yes, you know, we don't have uh, the intelligence. Uh, we don't have the strength. Uh, but then once we really pray sincerely to Prabhupada, you know, with you know, his blessings, with his causeless mercy, you know, we'll be qualified, we'll be eligible. Uh, to receive the mercy of the Lord. And yes, uh, all of us have our own uh, custom suit of purification. We have our own problems. Uh, uh, we have our own problems in our small community that we have. Uh, one devotee was saying that, you know, the perfect community, is it really free of problems? Is it free of problems? No. A perfect community means they respond to the problem very effectively. Okay. So yes, in our small congregations also, once a while we get also problems, but that's a part of our growth. And just like in a child, uh, he goes through the study, uh, right? Yeah, initially once you think of all the serpent-like equations, you know, it's really crazy, right? But then as, uh, that's a part of the growth, as we really uh, grow, uh, that's how we have to really take it. There's an opportunity for me to take it to the next stage. So it's not that okay that really you know distract us or deviate us from our goal. No, we should be very clear. Our goal is to really please Prabhupada. Uh, our goal is not that any other material desires. You know, as Prahlad Maharaj said, our goal is only to please Prabhupada. Uh, that is the only thing that we have in mind. Uh, because whatever we might think that I am doing the best and uh, you know, a seva. Right, definitely, as Prabhuji said, like you know, with the limitations of our body, mind, and uh, you know, whatever capacity we have, right, it will slowly go away, right. And, but what is really important is that uh, if I have that strong intent of you know, pleasing Prabhupada, you know, that in somehow or other he will give us that, uh, uh, give us that intelligence, you know. I was also checking, you know, this uh, how our Kotisha Prabhu and Prabhuji they are making small tweaks out of that cotton. Right. Unity is also not about just bringing the cotton together, right? You have to really, you know, rub it, you know, <laughs> right? That cotton, everything, it's so painful, you know, to rub it together. 
<laughs> but then right if you just put it like that cotton you know it will not uh, glow nicely will it glow no right but then you know somebody has to like the spiritual master sila propa you know has to bring and press and really press it so hard all right and then it is really uncomfortable definitely <laughs> it is uncomfortable <laughs> because we are so have is yet to oh bro oh, this is my own space please don't disturb <laughs> right yes you know the devotees are there to push pull and bring together right and that's where like is all unity is all about right uh, what is the means of unity right unity is not that okay you know i am right and everybody should follow and you know, me then we will bring the unity <laughs> <laughs> always we think like that you know because whatever i say you know is right and everybody should follow me <laughs> but unity is that like you know once again thinking you know from lord's perspective you know from the devotee's perspective you know uh, because we have to see from their eyes you know not our eyes whenever there is some you know yes difference of opinion or challenges or difficulties you know we think that okay you know what would really please prabhupada or what will really please my spiritual master you know if i keep you know if i solve that problem see that problem through the uh, the eyes of the uh, the lord and his devotees and i will have the better you know understanding to deal with that problem yes uh, we have gone through a lot you know in over the last uh, 12 to 14 years you know in this small congregation when we started uh, right uh, it's all uh, wonderful our rajagovind pro sri gaur pro and so many like madhumati mahanta ji and the krishna pro like you know we used to meet uh, just radha kant pro and uh, and all the devotees used to come together meet in marathalli in kagadaspura or in uh, right marathalli somewhere uh, right just once in a while and we were thinking that oh nothing is there in this area <laughs> right and what will happen <laughs> right and the first, one of the first program that we had is then in front of the balaji temple uh, there is one complex there is one devotee currently you know there in us <clears throat> we had one of our first program uh, right and uh, then uh, like in 2008 as from you were saying that we started some you know public programs like uh, Uh, Deepavali and the Janmashtami, right? In you know, a couple of apartment complexes, right? And we used to invite some senior devotees for nice kirtan, nice prasada. You know that that's what is you know we are known for. And uh, like we did it for two years, like this with a small bhakti rikshas. Right? And then of course here we had Ellen Pro, uh, Lakshmana Shyam Pro, elder brother of uh, Bandhu Bandhu Madhav Pro. Right? He was really another. Uh, Fire brand preacher we had in in this area. And then of course, even Kishan Prabhu came. And then so many right things. You know how Lord had started orchestrating that. You know yes, you know this is the potent place Lord has chosen uh, to really uh, really glorify right and and with the so 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 able instruction and guidance of Vardha Krishna Prabhu right we have been doing and yes whatever. we started with in a very very humble little way in small uh, like fives and tens and twenties and now we have like so so happy that in our last puri yatra we had 230 devotees <laughs> and everybody was so mad right and like in bhakti right like in you know, all led by our mad devotees <laughs> because i don't know what they were feeding <laughs> and they were not sleepy <laughs> <laughs> and these devotees they had just come right like maybe somebody 6 months somebody 1 year somebody 1 and 1/2 years we are not talking about paramahamsas <laughs> and you know these devotees they were all, like whole day they were in uh, in uh, hearing chanting and going different places and in the night they were in the temple <laughs> and i think that's a lot of jagarna <laughs> that's what i was wondering what achit prabhu was really feeding them <laughs> how they were really getting mad <laughs> <laughs> in the ecstasy of lord jagatnath and this is what happens this is what happens you know with the mercy of prabhu pan you know with the you know the power of the association right and yes you know whatever we have done so far we have to just continue we don't have to do anything really big or anything you know drastically we have to keep all this principle same right yes the, the details might vary right like the way maybe we are organizing the programs or conducting the programs but the mood is same but the mood the basic principle is that yes we are talking about the purity and you know, the intensity and the unity how 
you know we should really keep all these principles intact and the rest you know lord will so his magic and now you have to just be an instrument there hari krishna ओम विष्णु पादाय कृष्ण पृष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदांत स्वामी दिनाने नमस्ते सरस्वते देवे गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चात्य देशता सो कांग्रेचुलेशन टू ऑल ऑफ अस टू ऑल ऑफ अस बिकॉज़ वी सक्सेसफुली कंप्लीटेड द 6 इयर्स डाउन एंड 5 इयर हियर एंड मेनी मेनी मोर इयर टू कम Uh, in the mission of our founder acharya sala prabhupad so when when we have any foundation day or birthday or appearance day of our uh, great acharya we always think what is their teaching how do we imbibe their qualities so similarly now today uh, being uh, the anniversary of our uh, um, bhakti center <clears throat> so wh- why we are here because when we are doing the activity it so happen that we we become expert in activity but we forget the purpose of the activity so we we instead of uh, become a spiritual the the spirit rim, uh, goes away it becomes a ritual so we have to add the spirit so why we are here and what we are doing so we have to ask ourselves why the question why is very important so i was thinking that um, we have to go back uh, to the purposes that iskon was founded and the prabhupada has given very very visionary ways that the seven purposes of krishna consciousness and the first purpose that sila prabhupada gives is that to systematically um, preach the spiritual knowledge and impart the techniques different techniques to the people in the society at large to check the imbalance in the values and to bring the unity and the peace in the society and i said wow what a fantastic uh, vision that we have it's, it's a very lo- lofty vision that sila prabhupada has gi- uh, uh, given and of course prabhupada has personally followed that and has uh, uh, shown all of us how to do that so that means we are here the first and the foremost principle that we are here to give the spiritual knowledge to the people at large in the society because in kaliva as kaliva is progressing the uh, imbalance in the values are increasing we can see that outside any small things happens on the road that there is a big uh, it, it 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 ends with the big fight or big quarrel because the 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 values that are actually going down and down so that's why prabhu says that to check the imbalance in the values and what will happen it will bring the unity and the peace in the society at large and uh, do we see any example yes just recently as uh, the war was going on and i don't know was or is but i i don't know how many days passed but yes i think is is the war is still going on and uh, some of the devotees who are from ukraine now they don't have a place to stay now where to go so they cross one country to other country and finally they reach to hungary and they were welcomed by the another group of devotees and offered all the uh, physical psychological mental emotional support for all these devotees and that devotee the devotee uh, created a video and published that this is the united nations of uh, world and that has founded by our founder acharya sila prabhupad where we can get unity and the peace and that is where prabhupad so you can see that this is uh, the vision what we have is very great and the, this comes from the great personality if we all start doing some visions probably we may end up with a small vision but prabhupad's vision is a very great vision so by following such a great people we become a great prabhupad was asked are you a great person he said i am not a great but because i am following the great person i become a great person so that's the prabhupad so we we may not have any qualification uh, what to talk about me we don't have in kaliga what qualification do we have but just following the principles given by shila prabhupad we actually our life become successful our life become a glorious and the second point prabhupad says that so the first is the preaching krishna consciousness systematically giving the techniques to to the society at large and the unity and the peace is the outcome of that the second thing is that now where to preach this from here do we go to some book and get that prabhu said that we have to preach this krishna consciousness from the book of shrimad bhagavad gita and bhagavatam 
so we also have, we were we are also given from here to take this knowledge from bhagavad gita and bhagavatam and the third thing so that means we don't have to go some somewhere else everything is given by shila prabhupad uh, in bhagavad gita and bhagavatam and of course uh, phd is our uh, chaitanya charitamrit so all wh- what we needed uh, to do that everything is available and the third thing that for our society that we help each other so that we bring all the members of our society nearer to krishna that is very important we have to bring each and every so- member of our, our society nearer to krishna and this is this is very important as prabhu said and uh, sudhir gopal prabhu also emphasized the unity and cooperation is very very important when shila prabhu was in dallas 1970s and we discussed this uh, two week, two two three weeks ago here that uh, propad on that particular road, sunday was doing something unusual which he has never done in other temples so he was teaching the mrudangam classes and many other things and the devotees asked swami ji shila propad what is that will please, uh, uh, please you most and propad said that if you after i leave my body if you cooperate among yourself that will please uh, please me most so that means propad's expectation from all of us is that we live together but cooperatively and how can we live cooperatively because as soon as there are one more than one thought comes or one more than one living entity comes together then we know what happens right and imagine now 200 300 500 people coming together there are bound to have a differences of opinion is bound to have a, uh, and that's why shila prabhu says that variety is the mother of enjoyment imagine all people are same nature everything doing exactly same there will be no variety no fun no enjoyment right but prabhu said that fun that's why krishna created such a way that the whole world has a varieties imagine everybody is getting at same time doing the same thing same dress maybe <laughs> sir <laughs> and everything doing exactly same thing how can you differentiate between these people so variety is must and it will happen and it should be there but how do we have the cooperation we will have only cooperation when we have the one center and prabhu said given a very simple example that if we take a stone and put into the pond or lake it will create a ripples and if every individual like sharan prabhu achyut arjun prabhu or everybody take one stone and put in that at a different location it will create a ripples but if the center is not one and it will start um, impacting each other it will collide each other and it will actually um, uh, vanish it. but prabhu said that put all the stones in one bag and drop at one location <laughs> what will happen we'll have one center and the the ripples that create it will have peace and harmony there so when shila prabhu said that we wanted to have peace and cooperation only when we have a one center and what is that one center <laughs> to please krishna and to please our founder acharya our dear founder acharya shila prabhu so that is what recently we were um, discussing about shrimad bhagavatam 1.5 the appearance of shrimad bhagavatam because how fortunate we are indians those who have taken bharat bhumi te hele manushya janme aap we are very fortunate but as soon as we become a fortunate it comes with the higher responsibility and prabhupad writes in the purport i i guess that the purport is uh, is written on 1962 because prabhupad is writing that as i am writing here there is a war broken between india and china and propad writes i don't have i have nothing to do with the political things but propad says that how we as a indian failed how we indian as a failed because we did not have enough capability to fight china <laughs> no that's that's not what propad said propad said because we are born in india it is a high responsibility on all of us to give this message of krishna consciousness and which we actually fail to do that and that is why there is a war in the society there is a war in the world that means if there is a war between ukraine and russia who is responsible yeah. we are responsible bharat bhumi te ele manushya janma yara janma sarthak kare kara para upakar so it is high responsibility god propas gives example that if class 1 officer he has lot of uh, facilities right and if he is a class 3 officer in government he has no facility but the class 1 officer has lot of facility with lot of responsibility similarly when we are born in this bharat bhumi we have lot of facilities because we remember krishna from the birth right when if you see people are from the other country they don't even know who is krishna who is lord chaitanya mahaprabhu who is what is bhagavad gita what is bhagavatam we know from birth that is the facility but it comes with the responsibility so this is the purpose 
that Srila Prabhupada has created the society for uh, all of us, 1966, almost now uh, 56 years ago, Srila Prabhupada created this society so that we go and preach the message of Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam all over the world. And when we follow the instruction of Srila Prabhupada and uh, follow the instruction and become a part of Srila Prabhupada's mission, our life becomes glorious and successful. So that is how this society, this center is here. Now why we are here? For preaching Krishna consciousness and making people aware about the spiritual knowledge from the Srimad Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam and bringing each and every so, uh, individual member of our society closer to Krishna consciousness, closer to Krishna. As, in, as we grow, so Krishna consciousness initially appears, zoom, 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 right? And then we reach to a somewhere stagnant, then appear that nothing happening in Krishna consciousness. So there are different types of people in our society. There will be new people and there will be people who are already practices. So we, we have to help each other. In, inspire each other, motivate each other, so that the society, the center that we are here today, today we have 200, 300, 400, and that, you know what happens? As the number grows, the problem is as directly proportional to the number of the people that we have in the society. <laughs> but as Prabhu said that, we have to be very matured enough, because problem bound to happen, we have to be matured enough, the cooperation among ourselves, having Krishna in the center and Prabhupada's mission in the center, actually will sell us through that, and just recently, we celebrated 50 years of our ISKCON moment. Similarly, we want to celebrate the 100th years of our ISKCON. Similarly, we have to celebrate 10,000 years of our ISKCON moment. And for that, we have to stay together, live together, and uh, preach Srila Prabhupada's mission. So that is the purpose that we are here and celebrating. Just now, we, we celebrated sixth year, the 9,900. 94 years to come to have 10,000 <laughs> years of our moment. So long year to go and long time to go, but we have to have the foundation such a strong, based in Sila Prabhupada's value, based in Sila Prabhupada's principle, based in Sila Prabhupada's teaching. So that is how we are here. So just few, a few memories that how we started. Um, uh, it was it was in 2005 in IITPL, Lakshmi Narasimha Prabhu used to have after lunch program. So during one to two, there is a lunch br a break, and then our Karma Pati Kesha Prabhu will uh, Prabhu, uh, Karma Pati Kesha Prabhu, Vishnu Priya Mataji, Nagaraj Prabhu, Lakshmi Narsima Prabhu, and Bandhu Mahada Prabhu, and we used to have every day Bhagavad Gita program. And then as Prabhu said that it has grown, and it came 2011, which 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 is I have a very high memory and good memory for all of us. 2011 was the first Janmashtami, like this month, May, uh, May month. Nas, um, our Varad Krishna Prabhu called and said that now enough is enough. Both of you have you have been here this Narsima Giridhar in Mandir. Now you have to go to this uh, land as uh, Sudhir Gopal Prabhu was saying. Marthali, nothing is happening there. So you have to go grow go there and go there and grow there. <laughs> so now you do the Janmashtami program there. Now people think outside that this is people have a lot of money. <laughs> 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 and so like this, so now you start <laughs> Janmashtami program. So we are thinking that we'll have a lot, <laughs> lot of money with us and then we'll have enough money to celebrate. Prabhu said that you have no money to celebrate. <laughs> 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 now what to do and how to do. So <laughs> <laughs> because people say that uh, this, some people are some anti Anti-propaganda says that these people, if you give money to ISKCON, they spend this money to the foreign countries. <laughs> they don't know that every center is independent and autonomy. And the, the satellite center of that also is autonomous. <laughs> <laughs> so now the, uh, the seats were sold by saying that you go and uh, celebrate Janmashtami. And there are four or five people, as Prabhupada writes in that, we need to have the people, we need to have the money, we need to have all those things to celebrate. So, and unfortunately, there was a, some something going on between two centers and the news were coming into the high court and all the things. So we went to two, three people. One person said that we will sponsor our, sponsor our your prasadam. We are very happy. Krishna, thank you. Now our prasadam will be sponsored. Now what is left with the hall? Somehow Prabhu and they went and we found this VSR hall. He said that, okay, I will give this VSR hall. Because our expectation that he must give free, right? Because we don't have, <laughs> we don't have money. <laughs> we don't have money. So he said, yeah, well, I will give you, but you have to just pay some maintenance. Okay, we said that is agreed. 
And then so we went to one person who had some political background. I will sponsor all prasadam. So hall is taken care, prasadam is taken care. Now uh, we need to have some uh, some money for uh, uh, distributing the pamphlets, decoration, and all the things. And then few of us went to this place, that place, this place, and there is one big personality here. We went to his house. He said, "Kitna dabbu chahiye? How much money do you want?" We said, "We want much. I will give you." But he never given given today also. <laughs> So now, so lot of promises, no hanging fruits. We tried, but nothing ended. <laughs> so what to do now? Then we went to one um, uh, Honda dealership, and he said, "What will you do with this program?" He said, "We'll bring unity so and peace in the society." He said, "Unity and peace in the society." I said, "Yeah." He said, "We." I saw that you people on the TV fighting among each other. <laughs> What kind of what kind of peace? You 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 among yourself there is no peace. How can you bring peace in the society? So I said, now this door is also closed. So like this, uh, all the doors were closing. But when all the doors are closed, Krishna will open a big window, and that is how somehow. But one thing that we have, if we uh, work for Krishna, Krishna will make sure that we have enough. Not only enough that it will actually surplus. So somehow Janmashtami was done, and when we were taking the stock of Lakshmi, so there was some dhar 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 dhar. What will happen? Whether there will be some loan or something. But when we opened our uh, hundi, uh, it took almost two to three hours to count that Lakshmi, and finally we were one plus uh, lakh rupees surplus. Uh, that is the 2011, and uh, as Krishna always does, 2011 past 2012. And 13, because we wanted to have every time some new theme. So we 2013, we wanted to have new theme. So we wanted 5,240th birthday of Lord Krishna. 12, huh? Yeah, 2012. Immediately the next year, 5,240th years of Krishna's appearance. So what should shall we do? So we should do 5,240th kg of Ladu. No, 525. Yeah, but that is practically not possible. We said okay, we'll divide by 10. <laughs> Uh, so 525. So practically 25. Nobody will remember. So we said we'll do 500 kg of uh, things, and then how do we do that? We have to find a structure and have a ladu. So Prabhu, and then we went to somewhere near Rajaji Nagar or some that area. We found some halwai wala. He said I will make a ladu for you 500. And then Prabhu went to some that mirchi, FM mirchi or something. They came for advertisement, and finally we had 525 kg of ladu. <laughs> And many people came. The FM wala came, and then there was a big advertisement like this. Years passed, and today, just as some, I mean, the point here is that if we work for Krishna, Krishna will never. Um, that name, nama bhakta, pranashyati. My devotees will never perish. If we have a very sincere and genuine uh, intention to please Krishna, to please Sila Prabhupada, Krishna will never let us down. Will never let us down. That is our faith. Even from 2011 and even 2019, 2020, 2021, when the whole world was actually uh, going under this corona, but we still have a surplus that time as well. <laughs> when the whole centers, all other centers were struggling. So anyway, so that is the beauty of Krishna consciousness. That is the beauty of um, moment of our founder Acharya Sila Prabhu, and that is beauty of our dear Lord Sri Krishna. So we are here to preach Krishna consciousness, and that is how past. And one center to the now we have satellite of satellite. <laughs> so this center is growing to the um, uh, our Panatur and then Kanna Mangala and then. Uh, no, we have hope on hope. Farm. And uh, we have hope on hope farm now. <laughs> Another small uh, seeds are getting sprouted now, and uh, it is just a matter of time it will get and like this. So all we have to do that keep genuine genuine center uh, the Krishna and Prabhu Pad, and automatically the results will come byproduct. It's a byproduct of that. And with that, so let's uh, uh, stop here. And um, thank you very much for all of all your endeavor, sincere. Because when we do something, we have to definitely sacrifice your time, energy, family. But when you sacrifice Krishna, Krishna will give abundantly. So thank you very much for all of you for your in, um, selfless, tireless services for Sila Prabhupad Mission. Thank you very much, Sila Prabhupad Ki Jai. भक्ति सेंटर बर्थडे की जय या सो लाइक सो वी नाउ व्हेन वी केम इन लाइक आई वाज टेकिंग केयर ऑफ यूथ पिचिंग सो 2011 आई वाज सेंट हियर टू डू जन्माष्टमी सो देन आई वाज नॉट हैविंग एनी ग्राउंड हियर so like i was working with all the congregation devotees and then um, after that my goal was to open a base 
So, and I opened a base with three devotees. So, yesterday our Subhandu Govinda Pohu came. So, he was the first one. No, Sumit Jaitpurkar. You know, he, he and Manohar Prabhu and uh, one more devotee is there. Uh, uh, Bhatta Raghuna Prabhu. Now he is in Kyarpuram congregation. So, three devotees. So, with them, like, uh, we started the base. And then we started preaching in CMRIT college. And Prabhu's house, we used to conduct the CMRIT youth program. <laughs> so, we used to send all of them out. <laughs> Prabhu, <laughs> Prabhu, Mataji and kid, everybody like, you know, you go somewhere, we want your house <laughs> for doing youth program. <laughs> so, we used to get the college boys to their home and then uh, we used to do the youth program. And uh, Prasadam, we would like have two-wheeler and Prasadam cooked in the temple and we used to have the prasadam brought in the two-wheeler from there because we didn't have any other facility at the time. So, conduct programs and things like that. And in year 2012, we had, uh, uh, like first 2011, immediately after Janmashtami, we had one BHK base. And in 2012, we had two BHK base. And we had, <laughs> in 2013, we have three BHK base. <laughs> and in 2014, we had two, three BHK bases. <laughs> and then, in 2014, I think we had an independent house, and 15, we had two independent houses. <laughs> and uh, like, you no, know, we started in the basement of one of the independent houses, the congregation program. And in 2016, somehow the youth stream and the congregation stream got merged. So, you no, know, unfortunately, they made me the leader, you know, <laughs> amongst these two. So, and then, um, like, we hired this hall, you know, below this hall. And uh, like, till then, like we were doing one Janmashtami, like regularly. And uh, one thing we used to be admiring a lot, throughout the year, we would not see any devotees, you know. And Janmashtami, somehow, everybody will come together and <laughs> big thing would happen. And uh, again, like, you know, throughout the year, like, it will be all very silent, you know. So, like that. So, somewhere from somewhere, like, all devotees will come and <laughs> big program would happen. <laughs> so, till 2016, I think we had some... 15 families or 20 yeah, families? We had already five Bhakti Rikshas, like our uh, one of the pro So, yeah, remember, if I remember correctly, Eagle Blue can also add. So, in uh, 2008, like, yes, so we just, like, of course, our uh, ITPL uh, youth program was going on yeah. where Prajanan Prabhu, Sankar Pandit Prabhu, Ellen Prabhu, Vandavada Prabhu, Nagras Prabhu, and all they were doing. But I want you to talk about the house program, right? Yes, we started, uh, <clears throat> like, in Golden Star. You know, so the how is a bhakti vrikshas, right? And then uh, in 2000, uh, and in here, like in Eagle Kisa Prabhu's house, you know, once he came back from US, right, he started a program. So there was the two bhakti vrikshas that were happening, one in Golden Star, one in ACS layout. And then now over a period of time, uh, like we got multiplied, that was the instruction of Ravidhiritai Prabhu. Ravidhiritai Prabhu uh, was really our supervisor preacher. And uh, at that point of time, our sector servant was Nari Chaitanya Prabhu. We were very fortunate. <laughs> and then Nari Chaitanya Prabhu was coming. And then we had a Kripa Mai Gorang Prabhu. You know, like they were the sector servants. They were really inspiring, coming and inspiring us. Mm -hmm. Of course, at that time, we were Krishna Prabhu. At some time, we were Krishna Prabhu also. We was all, at that time, of course, we were all used to go to Sasadri Puram only. Even we didn't have Narsimha Giridari Mandir also. And... Uh, that's how, like, there's only one temple and small go down, right? Like, Sasadari Pura, uh, at that time it was there. Now we see so many beautiful congregations. Like, even our small, small IBCs, right, that we have is much bigger than what Sasadari Pura. <laughs> Believe me. <laughs> right, that was the... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's, uh, it had its own challenges and complexities. But then, like, yes, and then I think in uh, 2010, uh, like uh, we requested one of our Bhakti Riksha members to take it over, like our Mahatseva Prabhu, like our Manish Kumar Prabhu. And then we multiplied into one here and the one in um, Marathali that Ajagavan Prabhu started taking care. And then, then we had started one more in Pundanahalli or Bansi Prabhu because he has relocated to US now. So he was taking care. Right. So that's how we started. And then Bandhamada Prabhu, uh, like taken over from Ellen Prabhu, and uh, he started preaching. And uh, like his group always, you know, is very strong. And then in 2012, uh, first quarter, if I remember correctly, Bandhamada Prabhu was assigned as the you know, leader of this area from 2012. Like as Prabhu is saying, before Harikatha Prabhu, uh, Bandhamada Prabhu was the leader. He was really taking care. Even our Siddhinath Prabhu was one of our old timer. <laughs> Been there for a long time. 
<laughs> right well, how he started and from 2012 to 2015 uh, yes so we are aligned to our narasimha giridhari mandir we used to go there for our sunday feast uh, we used to have uh, regular services at that time we were known as nityananda circle right so nityananda circle of narasimha giridhari mandir and uh, that's how we used to go for our sevas Right. But then, uh, as Prabhuji said, as a team, all of us were coming together for Janmashtami. But then, Vardha Krishna Prabhu said that, okay, I, I know, I don't know how many are coming for Sunday feast in Narasimha Girdhari Mandir. You start your Sunday feast in your area. <laughs> right. And then we started Sunday feast in our Golden Star Clubhouse. And uh, it was going on for some time, at least. We used to do once in a month, no? Or... Uh, for Janmashtami. Just before Janmashtami. Uh, before Janmashtami. And after Janmashtami also, then we start. Once in a month, you know, from 2012 or so, right? We started a monthly, monthly Sunday feast as well. And then uh, after that, like you know, we might uh, some of you must have seen, you know, this uh, across the street in a small place, right? And then like, there's a small house, right, where like it was a base. The devotees were staying, and uh, and on the ground floor, the small Toronto room, like you know, the size of that. <laughs> Right, that people can, that people max can sit together. You know, that's where we started. But then, uh, you know, like when you cannot believe once you came, you know, like Hari Kathir Prabhu and myself and Adi Mandal Prabhu and Kishore. Once you came to, you know, see this place on the first floor, you know, and he was really putting a big number. We really were Prabhuji, you know, I, I was really skeptical, you know, because you know, <laughs> eighty thousand or something like that. He was asking, you know, 65, 65, 65 He was asking, you know, at that time we were paying around twenty five thousand. That how thirty thirty thirteen by you, then fifteen by you, then fifteen by how many years, right? It was a double, right? We heard Prabhupada say that double distribute the books, right? <laughs> not in a double in terms of spending. <laughs> <laughs> we are really, really skeptical. But Hari Kathirabhu, no, no, it's possible. It <laughs> he had a strong faith. No, it's possible. You know, Prabhuji always, you know, having a big things in mind. You know, that I really admire. Like he really carries another mood of business. Jephtha Shri Maharaj, Ashla Prabhupada, and always thinking big. Right, always thinking big. You know, <laughs> like we are a little skeptical. I don't know how exactly we'll be able to manage it. You know, but then yes, the. Sincere enthusiasm of the devotees, you know, this uh, first floor came out and I remember the first Janmashtami we did, right? I was thinking you people had faith. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that is why I, put it. I was not having any <laughs> hope of paying 65,000. <laughs> we don't know what is the source of your faith, but definitely. <laughs> together, I think together by some misunderstanding we took. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes misunderstanding also creates a miracle. <laughs> 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 one plus one is not two, but eleven. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so like we're doing this Janmashtami, but uh, once again, Prabhuji's uh, and Vada Krishna Prabhu's uh, strong thought that, like, you know, let's not make our congregation as a Janmashtami devotees. And uh, then this push for this uh, Gita course started, you know. We were doing that in Narsama Giridhari Mandir. We had our own success and failures, but Prabhuji had a lot of learning. You know, as a vice president, is really launching right this kind of a Gita course programs, and you know, um, and many programs he had launched along with the uh, Giridhari Prabhu and so on. He had learned a lot of lessons, and and then once he started this Gita course program, I remember the first floor in 2006 when we started our Gita course uh, 2016, right? I think uh, our uh, Deepak Prabhu, Abhishek Prabhu, or Vikas Prabhu. You know, all these devotees were the audience, you know, Sarana. <laughs> Sarana, all they were the audience. And you cannot believe, right? Uh, I think it was at four o'clock or something like that. And we were just sitting and still, you know, the, the Prasant, the owner of that place, you are still, you know, coming and cleaning that place. <laughs> right? It was, you had just vacated that floor at that point of time, right? And it was like, so, like, uh, you can say once again, unorganized, <laughs> not so well organized. But then, right, once the program was over and I was interacting with a couple of devotees, they're so enthusiastic, right? Then I uh, said, Prabhupada and says, he already sent so many beautiful, you know, members and so many beautiful devotees. And then, right, I think from 2016 on, onwards, right, it started ramping up very steadily and very fast. So thanks to Harikatra Prabhu and uh, his vision <laughs> and his 
listen sometimes we might think that okay you know it just happened 6 years back but i really admire the kind of the training he had gone through and the lessons he had learned you know during his time either in narsimha giridhari mandir or or in sasadri puram you know that really training really helped us in really getting that mature thought process and mature platform to proceed further so it's not just right i would say that just a matter of last couple of years right like you know that platform right how prabhuji had given and then uh, with this uh, prabhupad's formula right and i think it is uh, work wonders and i am sure it will continue to work as wonders in you know, the way we are doing it sila so, prabhupad ki i we have another five more minutes <laughs> ten minutes to get the cake so we we all are here so just prove that as you said so when we started 2011 as prove said that uh, we all had only going to narsimha girdhari so we have every week nityananda circle one week cleaning next week this next week and then uh, we uh, prabhu uh, and all subandhu prabhu prabhu and one more devotee so they first we got the base in kundalhalli colony kundalhalli colony and that kundalhalli colony if you go there it was very humble beginning so there were actually gutter going to the next uh, and it was not that great place so that was the first place that we had in kundalhalli colony the, then after kundalhalli colony we moved to the aecs layout a block the other side of that on the fourth floor so there also because uh, what happens when we go uh, okay they say okay this is is con devotees are there so they will bring lot of peace but when they they say that the, they started morning 4 o'clock itself <laughs> so there is no peace but it is a disturbance to their society <laughs> so their sleep and all those things so then uh, we were asked or we moved yes. we were asked as usual <laughs> so then we moved from there then we went to balaji temple right the bml layout so after balaji balaji layout if you go straight balaji temple you go straight and left side there so this uh, this direction so that was again uh, uh, 10th or 11th floor i don't know which floor that was also the big so initially he said okay you may stay four people five people then every day it numbers were increasing he was wondering how this is happening so five people 10 people 15 i don't know at the end we had 30 people or 25 people from there then we came to uh, the back side of this building so that was the duplex small tiny thing so ground floor bas- uh, basement the first floor and the second floor and the back side there was a kitchen so in the small kitchen uh, or varad um, uh, srinivas varada srikantha srinivas prabhu and then uh, we used to have cooking there every sunday and then um, have a program so uh, prabhu and uh, then uh, we used to call from narsimha girdhari mandir uh, speaker for our uh, sunday things and then as prabhu said uh, the time came to here and then there was a real challenge that uh, to upgrade because now you think we have to upgrade our uh, packages our uh, gadgets so we have to also upgrade our thing so from 30000 to 65000 was a big and there are a lot of things and that is how now uh, uh, we are here from first floor to uh, third floor so that uh, gap of this one so we just thought that uh, 30000 we were paying with great difficulty and this now 65000 we have to pay and uh, like uh, no we were not knowing and together all four of us like no we take took a call that we will go for this and uh, i don't know who is the culprit like no <laughs> so some of we took the call and after that that ghost incident most of you would have heard you no know, hbr layout you no know? so after devotees did keep them there so then um, like the owner told like you people should stay here so in the ghost house and uh, like you know we were telling that you know, we will not be able to pay the rent but still like no they insisted no you people should stay and no no need to pay rent so immediately we shifted the base into the whole ghost house <laughs> so and devotees are little bit afraid <laughs> and then like anyway we are doing morning program why should we afraid <laughs> and it is close to a crematorium also no so <laughs> devotees went inside and we saved a lot of lakshmi in the base you know all devotees were paying lakshmi to the base so near the temple so we saved that lakshmi and immediately that 30000 came here <laughs> so in that way like krishna arranged you know a house the where we can uh, you know we we get this uh, arrangement and it was like really miraculous how it was happening actually so then 16 and no um, 17 18 and things like that so we had like nice growth Uh, so we had uh, in i think in 17 we started in panathur uh, janmashtami in 18 19 just before the forum no no uh, 
So, and in uh, Kadugodi, when the gymnastics was started, yeah, it was 18, 18, only. 18 only. So, 18 only, we started two this ones. So, in Kadugodi, in a big scale, in Sai Gardens, and in the this one, Panathur, we had in a small scale in the apartment, SV Brindavanu. And then, um, like uh, in the uh, 18, so it became, you know, really uh, good size genmastomies. No, 19, we had good size genmastomies we had. So in 18, we had started in a small way. And then, uh, so by the way of uh, 19, so we had three big, you no know, mega scale genmastomies we had. And then 20 and uh, 21, so we couldn't be able to do. And that is why, you know, putting all the things together. So now we are going to do six or seven places. <laughs> So every year one one genmastomy is increasing actually. <laughs> and one genmastomy means the background of genmastomy is why we celebrate genmastomy. What is the reason for gen celebrating genmastomy? Big festival. <laughs> Big festival, glorifying Krishna. All these things are secondary for us. No? We celebrate Janmashtami to get contacts for Gita course. <laughs> and immediately after the Janmashtami, we conduct Gita course. And by the time of next year, more devotees and one new Janmashtami. <laughs> and then in one or two years, we have a center in the place where we start Janmashtami. So number of Janmashtami means number of centers that are going to come up. No, that is the count that we actually have. And we see that uh, you know, any devotee who is capable of leading, who is capable of uh, you know, organizing and you know, little managerially you know, capable, so then you know, we allow them to start you know, something new, you know, uh, keeping the unity together and having you know, the bonding together at the same time. So we go and start something new. So, uh, and during this period, so we had uh, many devotees joining Ashram also. Like, uh, uh, our Koti Sashi Prabhu, he joined in uh, 2016, 17, okay, 17, and then the same year in the October, Rachit Prabhu also joined, and in 18, no, or uh, Kartikei Prabhu joined, and uh, 19, nothing, 20, like uh, Charan Prabhu and Rahul Prabhu, and then Gopi Prabhu also moved in at that time, and then uh, I think in 21, uh, like uh, Vilvang Prabhu and uh, Dina Bandhu Prabhu, so they moved in. So 22 still no account is open. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anybody would like to jump in? <laughs> some some people are the glorious history that will speak next year. <laughs> some some people are cat on the wall. They are seeing this side or that side, this side and that side. <laughs> <laughs> so they can jump here safely. You know? <laughs> so in this way, the Brahmachari is joined. And then now, now, recently in this year, so we formally opened the two centers, Kannamangala and the uh, Panatu. So, and you know, we have Hope Farm. We already like have a place and we have a lot of Hope Farm. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so like after the Janmashtami, they'll populate the whole place, you know, with a lot of devotees. <laughs> uh, when I think I was looking at Ahabhai Prabhu, and uh, just some memory co coming to the, my memory that we had one sponsor called CMR group. And uh, so, and the pump, uh, when we uh, print the pamphlet, we need uh, Lakshmi, of course, right? So we also learn from the uh, outside people that we have to print their advertisement. So we'll get some Lakshmi. So Prabhu had a good contacts and uh, very good. So he went ahead and talked to CMR group and they said, don't worry, I will pay you whatever is that. So we went ahead and printed one lakh pamphlet, one lakh plus. And I think even today we did not get the sponsor. <laughs> Second year, he did not do that. And I was just thinking that what is this? Uh, I mean, why we are always on the plus side? Because the source of this uh, Markali uh, group, it is very unique and very special. Why it is unique and special? Because the devotees are here, are empowered with the Lakshmi. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why we are always as a surplus on the humorous side. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so now I think the cake has arrived. So we'll do Kirtan. We'll do Kirtan. Yeah. One more cake is on the way. Okay. Yeah. If uh, anybody would like to share their memory, maybe just before other thing comes, maybe they are welcome. Maybe I might one or two 
सिद्धनाथ प्रभु आभय प्रभु निशांत प्रभु वॉज अवर ट्वेंटी फिफ्टीन दी कॉम ट्वेंटी सो इफ एनी बड़ी वॉन्ट टू शेयर प्लीज कम इट सो दट इट इज जन्माष्टमी सो हिज No, also one of the founding members of our congregation. To <laughs> share something, your beginning days here in this area. We are very fortunate to have Madhav Ji Puskarani Madhav Ji. Let's welcome Madhav Ji by loudly chanting. Hari Ho. Hari Ho. It's actually very embarrassing. So many senior people are here. We just, you know, we just began because I think that was the best thing to do. We all were so happy just meeting each other every week. And uh, I remember way back in 2010 when we all used to meet every week in uh, somebody's house. The only thing we would look forward to is. Uh, You know, at least the Matajis used to look forward to making different kinds of prasad. You know, <laughs> what, what should we make this week? And so much so that devotees started telling me, Mataji, don't experiment so much <laughs> because we used to do so many things, and uh, we never felt uh, tired of cooking. Though uh, you know, now I see that mostly it's kichdi prasad, but then we used to make so many varieties, and we all would be so happy doing that. And uh, like it said. Way to a person's heart is through, you know, isn't it? Yes. Through the stomach, and and that was so true. Uh, we had so many devotees coming there, and uh, like Rupa Goswami says, "Dadati priti granthati, guhya makhya tiprachati, bhunte bhoje te chayva, shat vidham priti lakshana." That was so true. That was exactly what happened. We didn't know that. We didn't realize that. All we were doing is we were meeting each other. we were gifting each other we were opening our hearts to each other and we built a very strong bond that way and uh, when in uh, 2012 we had to leave bangalore and we went to vrindavan i, I know i should, we should have been happy <laughs> to go to vrindavan uh, but uh, uh, i can say that very very uh, clearly that uh, vrindavan is where our devotees are Hari Hari. No, that's so true. Wherever uh, all devotees come together and they genuinely practice these six principles, that's where uh, Vrindavan is. Of course, uh, uh, you know, as a place, of course, it's completely transcendental. But I'm saying, and uh, that that was uh, that those are the relationships that till date bring me from 20 kilometers south Bangalore to this place. Hari Hari. <laughs> you know, everybody asks me. I stay in South Bangalore. And I uh, somehow or the other I keep getting drawn to Marathali. No, every every other day, Harikshit Sir Prabhu was asking me, "Madhuri, what about that center?" Sir, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so devotees are here. So somehow or the other we keep coming here. So thank you very much that you all have. Uh, after we left, I used to get so many messages. Of course, because like I said, these relationships are permanent. So none of them I have lost touch. All of them are in touch. They all, and it's only grown. You know, it's only grown more. Uh, not just the depth, but also the width. You know, we have we have also uh, got in touch with so many more. Because once you connect and you know the relationship is genuine, there is nothing that can break that relationship. So it just expanded that way. And uh, till date, like I said, we are. Uh, so much in uh, uh, touch with each other i'm so grateful to all of you and i'm so grateful to you know these devotees who uh, have built this community so nicely so big because of their genuine like what you all have mentioned the three principles of uh, you know, the purity the intensity and the, the unity uh, thank you so much ravi thank you so much for giving this opportunity hari krishna Yes, like 
especially like the devotees uh, unfortunately who have come during this covid phase that right? they have seen only this virtual programs right only zoom is the only association right? <laughs> but once you talk about real association real association means the bhakti vrikshas bhakti vrikshas means right like house programs house programs means like all the family members coming together and having party <laughs> real party right like you know all the kids like i remember the one bhakti vrikshas used to have all the kids to remember they would be the first one to come together for what so that they can lead kirtan they can lead the bhajans every week they will you know, come and prepare and share one bhajan right and all the matajis they would have their own thought like as mataji said how to prepare prasad <laughs> all the prabhujis they had any number of things to discuss <laughs> right like it's like all get together right like you know the strong bonding is there and then of course ultimately it is really fueled by prabhupas an instruction and propas mode right how to really bring it forward uh, but as mathi said it's very important to have that strong relationship amongst devotees and that really carries forward for a long 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 term hari krishna as i would prove i would request you please please share something please bro. please <laughs> because you are you are one of our veteran like you know in 2010 11 you started uh, right the bhakti vriksha and before that also please please first expansion <laughs> yeah yeah Please come forward. <laughs> Even Brajgopal was not there at that time. <laughs> now he is so grown up. <laughs> and Prof. Srikant, Prof. Please, <laughs> just two minutes, Prof. Please, please. <laughs> so, as uh, I recently Prof. was mentioning, like we used to have the Janmashtami to collect the contacts. So 2011, uh, we had the first Jan Mastami in the DSR, and uh, had for the first a lot of uh, challenges, a lot of uncertainties, and we have to draw effort, particularly the uh, all the devotees, uh, Prabhuji, uh, uh, so, uh, Prabhu, and the uh, all the devotees. So uh, I remember one uh, one incident. Uh, actually, I used to take the means we as a team used to take the uh, take care of deities. And then uh, once in one of Janmashtami, we we normally used to come at the evening eight o'clock, a day before the Janmashtami, and then used to prepare the altar, decorate the altar, and all those things. So Prabhu told me to have the duties in the night, but somehow or other the duties were there in one of other devotees' home, and then that day the devotee told, okay, we'll I'll bring the devotee and duties next day morning, early morning. So we. Prabhu was not there. I said Prabhu was not there at that time. So we were decorating the altar and all those things. And then Prabhu came around 11:30 night, and Prabhu asked where the deity is. <laughs> I told uh, uh, Prabhu is uh, to, was told to that he'll bring the deity in the morning, uh, five o'clock itself will pay. Now Prabhu is become little uh, not very happy. <laughs> so uh, then Prabhu started with his uh, his team of. Youth preachers. He went to the devotee home. I think at twelve o'clock night, and he brought the deities at eleven or twelve thirty. The Radha Krishna deities, the Vibhav Krishna. We went to Vibhav Krishna Prabhu's house, and then the de- we brought the deities and put the deities in another devotee's house. And then uh, we had a plan to bring the deities next day, but somehow with Prabhu's this thing. And then we will have the. Uh, our altar uh, decoration by evening it will go around 12 12:30 1 o'clock and then probably there a mangala aarti will come <laughs> so that's another thing prabhu actually the the leader the leader defines the how the center grows actually so harichand prabhu i see harichand prabhu from the beginning the way he joined in fact he in front of me joined in shashadri pura and then he somehow that we are fortunate that prabhu came here to lead this center And I'm seeing him like he's very dynamic. He doesn't see the thing and very spontaneous. He is very spontaneous, and uh, he and that's the reason we are attracted to. Another thing is like to start the Janmashtami here is to have the uh, devotees here. So we are seeing from 2011 or 2022, 11, 10, 11 years are over. So many devotees are coming, and I hope that soon we'll have our uh, temple. <laughs> Is there to take care of the <laughs> <laughs> so soon we'll have our temple here, and uh, many, uh, many, many, many more devotees will come, and we'll have much more vibrant, much more bigger, much more uh, energetic, and much more uh, 
glorious janmashtami is many many uh, more janmashtami from and other janmashtami all other festivals also <laughs> thank you i know it can be ananta <laughs> ಜನ್ಮಾಷ್ಟಮಿ <laughs> And he saw it. He got it. <laughs> he said, "Next time I'll make sure we'll have Mangalarti." <laughs> and like Ajay Goind, the proof said, "We were they are decorating till two o'clock." And he says, "Mangalarti ko ana is way punch with it." And like uh, uh, I, I heard you got to show to our Sudhir Babu Prabhu telling that both Bandhu Mano Prabhu and Harikshet Prabhu they really think big, really think big. And this are the words of bandhu mara prabhu i heard in the class in that small house in the basement so you used to we should think big that was bandhu mara prabhu's vision like he used to say you should no matter you don't think how it materializes just think big and work towards it and this is what uh, i used to see bandhu mara prabhu taking everything on his head janma he is the one who brought the congregation together he is the one who started uh, this uh, janmashtami program uh, <coughs> like uh, and uh, it so happened like over the years like prabhu ji said this became janmashtami congregation it should not happen like that so bandhu uh, later on when harikshet prabhu took over i said okay ab to thoda slow ho jayega he turned out to be like three times more faster <laughs> we are sitting in the car and uh, we went to a police station to give some permission letter and uh, we are trying we are trying to celebrate janmashtami in three places i said he will slow down uh, less volunteers are there three places he is telling me next year i want to start in vartu <laughs> so like ajagan the prabhu was telling excellent leader uh, we should be very very happy and thankful to lord we are serving like we are under the shelter of an excellent leader here so we should just follow him that's what i am saying to say and thank you very much all of you i am very happy to see ajay goind prabhu for a long time actually <laughs> really nice we 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 have grown a long way actually very small number of devotees i used to remember i used to go to radhakant prabhu's house in 2005 when i came in to bangalore i used to go to radhakant prabhu's house in kagadasa pura for the classes then we used to go to shah Sheshadripuram, then Narsimha Temple, then here. So we have come a long way and expanded, expanded, expanded. This year he is like made an announcement. I don't know, devotees were telling six places Janmashtami. I don't know how we'll do it. Seven. <laughs> Seven places, see. <laughs> Increase already one country, sir. <laughs> so, <laughs> Lord has empowered him. We have to just follow him. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna. Thank you. 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 ಭಕ್ತಿ ಭಿಕ್ಷಾಸ್ and then harishet prabhu used to come to our house to conduct youth program there were some iit kanpur devotees who used to stay and they had their own connections so harishet prabhu used to come every week and then we also had him come to our conduct some office program in front of our office sudhi gopal prabhu and the congregation which we had was very very strong is what i can say and uh, one thing which will define our spiritual life you know regardless of the growth uh, the depth of your own spiritual life is what is very important and uh, one thing which will define your own depth in spiritual life is the relationship that you have with devotees that is the only thing which is going to save you in krishna consciousness 
there's nothing else which can help you. Your chanting, your book reading can only continue as long as you have very good devotee relationship. And if you take any devotee for granted, then gradually you will see the taste going. So that is very important. Anybody else would like to send Corona to the Prabhu or Avayananda? Yeah, please come forward. Very quick, please come. Please come. Please take the hot seat. <laughs> Not right to sit among the salvar devotees like this, or rather sit on the floor. Um, Hare Krishna, Dhanod, two wonderful devotees. Uh, since this uh, very nice uh, kathas are going on, I couldn't resist myself. And the uh, reason I wanted to share was to uh, basically inspire the devotees in the YouTube video, Zoom, and all over here. Uh, frankly speaking, for me, it has been a very uh, personal journey when we talk about. Uh, which is here talking about the first time the when big time Janmashtami opened in 2011 VSR. Till then I was not in the picture. I uh, personally didn't know what is puja, but it was very limited things I used to do, very happy go lucky person. And Prabhuji, I would like to share that one pamphlet came in my apartment nearby in uh, 100 meters away. I stayed. And I came from the office that day, 5 o'clock, uh, saw the pamphlet, I had no interest. I was like, uh, my wife does a lot of puja parts, so she'll be very happy because five minutes from my house is a VSR where it's happening. So I told her and took uh, her to the Janmashtami festival and I came to know it was the first one big time. Uh, I thought before that I'm, I missed quite a few, the big ones. <laughs> so, so I went there and then uh, obviously first floor DTs were there, typical like Hamlok Durga Puja mein dekhte hai, Ganesh festival mein dekhte hai. I saw okay, Radha Krishna DT was there. And then I went to the uh, minus one floor. And uh, usually I used to see typically we are from north, so I think Pandi ji hai, puja karte hai, Hamlok to bhai kaam kaji hai. Hamlok thik hai, puja part, si to bhai retirement ki baat ki mein, to dekh ki. And then I went down and I saw that uh, in a room like this only in Vaishnava dress, there were young devotees together. And I got attracted to that place and I was like, what is this all about? And I don't remember who was the devotee, but I checked with the devotee that who are these devotees? Uh, I mean, who are these people? I didn't say, I didn't know how to speak also. And they said that they are... Uh, they are star devotees, uh, they do job plus they do devotion, I like job devotion. I didn't get how come job devotion can go together. <laughs> <laughs> and they were like, no, they are all from IT background. One is in Cognizant, one is in IBM, one is in Wipro. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> is that possible with that kind of a job in having hand we can do? And that actually triggered my chain of thoughts. And uh, that was a start. Just wanted to share, uh, Prabhuji Mataji, that uh, we should not undermine even a small pamphlet distribution anywhere. You never know what, how the life can change of a person. And from there on, 2011 till 2022, um, yes, now we have scaled up big time. There was time when we had like very small scale, few devotees coming and we were having Bhakti Viksha, the small center here, Prabhuji. I used to go every day there with Arun Prabhu. And he used to lead the Bhakti which I was kind of supporting him. But one thing which Shila Prabhupada has said and uh, we should very strongly consider and follow is that we should completely 100% believe on the process. Okay, well, I, mean, I had no belief on myself. Uh, His Grace Sudhir Gopal Prabhuji is here, His Grace Sudhir Prabhuji is here and uh, they kept inspiring us and we should always be in the shelter of senior Vaishnavas because they see qualities in you which you also don't see in yourself. And it's because of Srila Prabhupada in the end. And, and uh, then again, because of that persistence, I feel Prabhuji personally that His Grace Harshita Prabhuji arrived. Because those small, small things, we didn't leave it. Even though number-wise it could look like small, but we, but thanks to the Prabhuji's here that they didn't leave it. Right? It was very challenging. 
and then when harishet prabhu ji came it was like a ignition then it fired up like anything and here the here is what we are and i really pray that things continue like this and as his grace shri god prabhu ji mentioned uh, while at the outside level things look very big and very magnanimous and very beautiful but the core piece is at the root level where the devotee care we should not miss uh, we should watch out the new devotee who has come to the center we should watch out the devotees who are when the new devotees come they are very innocent at heart they are like child who have nothing in their mind no propaganda no no kind no, no, nothing like a big tall ambitions when they come in then we should really really make sure that we are taking care of it and preaching is also about not like always going for 100 devotees preaching it's all about like beside you somebody needs you share words of wisdom with them uh, through the purpose teaching all those which are purpose all those so what he said about the past there must be and uh, yes we have thought of big and uh, grand programs but what happened the first thing in the morning all chaos <laughs> all chaos no stalls are open no, none of the devotees are there nothing is working out as we had planned because that was the first one and then like it was around afternoon around 2 o'clock you know i'm not sure if you have seen that chanting stall that was one of the big stall it's a 2 o'clock it started yes right 2 o'clock we all of us said okay let's come together and right? you know, figure it out one exactly how we can We had a meeting for that. <laughs> right, so two o'clock. We brought all the devotees together in the chanting stall, and we started really bringing it together. And we don't know that there was one devotee on the corner, Misand Bro, listening to what exactly these people are thinking and discussing. <laughs> so I don't know what kind of a devotee care we saw. He he saw the reality there. <laughs> how chaos, how unorganized to be. But then, like in the evening, it was fabulous. And when Varda Krishna Prabhu came, then he said, "We are not able to do this kind of a Janmashtami in S N G M." <laughs> and he was so happy, so happy, and he was so glorifying this Janmashtami that it was really wonderful after that. So yes, I will also. Okay, and then I think we'll pause it. When we had uh, this first 28th of October, August uh, 2011, so Varda Krishna Prabhu was here, and then we asked Prabhu Ji, "How many people are there?" And he said, "If you are not able to count, it is more than ten thousand." Hare Krishna, Prabhu and Mata, then we pray. I am not uh, in a capacity to talk in front of these senior devotees, but I thought to share with you my thoughts, whatever I feel or I experienced during my ten, twelve years of, especially in Janmashtami period, kind of a thing. So. I remember when uh, Nagato was talking about so one cook for Krishna first time when Hikshet Prabhu introduced that thing and I remember in SBSR one Mataji came from this uh, BML layout with a big pot of halwa but unfortunately DT was not there at that time <laughs> 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 but we try to say something no no DTs are coming we are opening this thing and all but the way the people comes with a cook for Krishna. the concept what harikshit who has given it was amazing and the people and the do do what is connect with us they come with the more cooking more prasadam is coming like anything over there and they feel that they are connected with the krishna like anything by preparing and the cooking for the krishna i remember before those years when second year i was working with bandhu mata prabhu means energetic people are there always like all three are very energetic But our Hayshet Prabhu is, I can say, the fire of energetic kind of a thing in that. I was sitting with Bandhu Madhavu whole night for preparing some uh, design for the Prabhu Path design because we were having a one canopy over there in the BSR. If you remember, some 15 by 15, we made it in backside of the program stage. Bandhu Madhavu was okay. I went my home for sleeping and at at five o'clock in the morning, but. He called, gave a call at nine o'clock, and he was in VSR only to do some activity over there. I was so surprised the way he was working. He never stopped, and his always thinking process was going on to make what best I can do to make the Mahasmi as a special this year. And that time he was making something something different. And then again, year on year, we are changing the process now, and now we have a seven Jan Mahasmi this year, as per which he told. So we never know how we will do it, but our congregations are too big now <laughs> that we will definitely do it. I sure, I'm sure. 
Then we're proud. So we we'll talk about startups, but you know, like we had our also a lot of failures. Like sometimes you know we also failed, but you know it really doesn't matter. But you know coming back to the three points, right? Purity, intensity, and unity, right? Once we keep these three things together, it really doesn't matter. You know, it's just a matter of time. Propa, you know, will shower his blessings, and he will show us the light. He'll show us the plan, and everything magic will happen. So he will do the magic. We have to be just an instrument with our purity, intensity, and uh, unity. So, no, thank you all very much. Uh, you know, for sharing, coming up and sharing. So it just, you no, know, blooms our memory. You know, uh, from what all things have happened. And uh, yeah, in the initial years, it's like a lot of fun is there. So, <laughs> so one thing which I always cherish is that uh, we never had any serious conflicts. You no, know? so we always used to have you know, uh, come together and do things, but uh, we never had any so serious conflicts that you know um, I've seen in other places and other association and all that uh, I cannot see your face, you no, know, I cannot you know talk to you and things like that. So that kind of conflicts, you no, know, it was never there, and it was uh, so nice that uh, you know I also got association of all these wonderful devotees. So basically, like. Uh, Nobody knows who is the culprit. Nobody knows who is actually pushing. So something happens between the association. So the combination is very bad. So that it is, uh, you know, we all, always think something different. And then uh, as Abhan was telling that, uh, you know, we have from right from the first time, we never thought that how it is going to happen. So we just used to jump in and somehow it used to happen. <laughs> <laughs> so that was the uh, formula and now still it is continuing that now now we are taking little bit cautious steps but uh, you know, this was the way we started regarding finance we didn't have any idea how it will come regarding people we didn't have, you know how it will come so somehow uh, you know by lord's mercy by devotees having strong uh, conviction that uh, something we have to do so that actually driven um, a lot of uh, length you know at this till this point so it's a very happy moment. So now we will have a little kirtan and then you know, we will have the uh, cake cutting this one. Hare Krishna. So let's thank all the devotees who have really worked so hard over the years to come to this day by loudly chanting Hare Krishna Mahamatra Papa Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Krishna Hare Hare Krishna Yes, how many devotees have had sleepless nights and uh, so much of energy that they have really put in the center over the years. So yes, we should count the blessings. We should really pay our gratitude to all these devotees. Uh, so we might not be able to name them, but yes, a lot of devotees have really uh, done a lot of stuff. Right? And we yes. thank you for And we hope and pray that this continues to go stronger and stronger over the years. Thank you very much. So the personal program is uh, as goes. Uh, like they are going to do lay the road. You know they are going to start the road work. So just because you know, we are a temple, they are waiting for us. So we will have five minute kirtan. We will cut the cake, and after that, like devotees, whosoever cars are there on the road, please uh, take it and put it as a side lane in uh, one of the lanes, and then get come back for the show. So five minutes of kirtan. So. You know, uh, so <laughs> <laughs> What are you? I think there's more than one human. We can see the class in that human face. 
Thank you very much. I know it's been a really late. <laughs> so just a quick announcement. I would like to once again thank all the devotees for stretching yourself. And also for stretching yourself for Prasadam also. Let's thank all the devotees by loudly chanting Hari Bol three times. Hari Bol! Hari Bol! Hari Bol! And one request from our Karthik Pro that he is starting a youth program today on this anniversary. And let's pray at the Radhu Vida Vandari Giridhari that it becomes once again one more wonderful program. Hari We are also very, very, very happy to share with all of you that especially amongst us we have Madhavati Puskarni Mataji and she always thinks of how to really bring up this small children in a nice, innovative, creative and intelligent way. And she has brought these two new books. Hari And we will be very happy to know that, very, very happy to know that, I don't know what is the stage it is right now, Mataji is discussing with the government of Karnataka that this book will be distributed as a syllabus in all the schools in Karnataka in local languages. <laughs> ministers and secretaries and you know how the principles of Bhagavad Gita can be really taught everywhere so that they really can un understand and you know, get the mercy of Sri Prabhupada in the very earliest in all the schools of Karnataka these books will be there and these books Martin has already published in a very small quantity like that will be there in our center so Martin you would like to say two words Thank you very much and like you said we are really testing everybody's patience I think uh, but uh, one thing that I forgot to mention I don't know how because I take it for granted is that uh, all mothers we would be very very interested in seeing how our children are engaged in Krishna consciousness when we were young mothers at that time now my children have grown up but uh, my mood would always be this that children should not be left bored because I grew up in a very traditional family and I grew up in a sense that uh, uh, everything to do with rituals and puja part like what Nishan Prabhuji said is really boring. <laughs> you know, so my, my constant meditation used to be how should it, we make uh, children <laughs> engaged in this process which is so joyful. Why can't it be joyful for them? Because we don't think about it. We don't think about it. We don't want to give Krishna consciousness to them the way Srila Prabhupada gave it to us. You know, the old wine in a very new bottle. Yes, he gave it so beautifully packaged for us. It was, it's all the same principles I, fought, I probably followed at home when I was small, but with least taste, with so much disgust. But when I went to Moscow after marriage, and that's when I saw the Russian devotees, they were doing all that my, probably my grandmother used to do. You know, and I used to feel shocked. How is it that they are doing all this sitting, some Mataji, Russian Mataji, sitting in one corner of the temple and she used to make these wigs for the lads. And that is, that's how we are brought up at home. Yes, everybody is doing something or the other for the Lord. And that's when I realized that it's because we have not been given properly. We, the message hasn't passed properly. And if we don't do it, the same story history will repeat itself. And that's how much care we need to take. We don't want to be just another religion where, you know, then Srila Prabhupada's all this effort will go down the drain. Srila Prabhupada always mentioned that child worship is greater than deity worship. Why? Why did he mention this important statement? Because he knew that if we don't pass it to the next generation, then it's going to die. Just with us. So the only way we can do it is make it so engaging for them, happy for them, just as we are happy. They also can be happy in Krishna consciousness. So this is one humble uh, effort uh, that I have taken to present Bhagavad Gita in a story form where children are interested to read it and they would like the pictures in it, they would like the stories in it and they can relate to it. Bhagavad Gita not just as a shloka to memorize or a philosophy to, uh, you know, which is somewhere there, 
but completely relevant to their own lives. So the story of three small children is depicted in these two books, in part one and part two. So my request is that uh, please uh, not just buy it for your own children, but also gift it to others. Uh, yesterday, for those of you all who are here, you know, it, it's like everything was almost be a bank balance already here because so many of you are uh, bought those wonderful books. But uh, it's just uh, a request that all of you please consider uh, this is a very important uh, uh, engagement for kids reading and reading uh, Shri Prabhupada's books in different languages. Thank you very much, Shri Prabhuji, Shri Prabhupada Prabhuji, and all of you to give this opportunity to me to uh, use this as a platform to uh, help propagate this. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now the darshan will be offered for the next uh, two three minutes. So those devotees who have come late and who have not been able to take darshan, so they can come forward, take darshan of the Lord, and uh, also like uh, the uh, request that we had, the, the cars in the main road has to be removed because the road laying, you know, the car they are going to go to the road. So take darshan, go on, you know, place your car in one of the side lanes, or make like anything that you have. And then come back for Prashant.